World War I disrupted American life, and living expenses were no exception. When the price of food skyrocketed with the onset of war, Accord ate a wholesaler for breakfast in Cole McIntyre Norfleet Company versus Holloway. Holloway operated a country store. A traveling salesman for Cole McIntyre Norfleet Company met with Holloway at his store in March of 1917. Holloway previously did business with Cole. On this occasion and with Cole's authority, the salesman offered to sell goods to Holloway, including 50 barrels of meal, a perishable food. Under the contract, Cole stored the barrels until Holloway requested their delivery. The contract stated the salesman didn't have authority to sign the contract, and the contract wasn't binding until Cole accepted it. Also, the contract stated that Holloway couldn't countermand the contract, meaning he couldn't recall or revoke it. In the weeks after the meal contract, the salesman visited Holloway's store many times. During these visits, neither Holloway nor the salesman discussed the meal contract. Cole didn't send any mail or wires about the meal contract. Holloway didn't receive any information about his order for two months. At that time, Holloway requested shipment of his order, but Cole informed Holloway it didn't accept the order, and as a result, Holloway didn't have a contract. After Holloway placed his order, the cost of meal rose sharply. Some jobbers, or wholesalers, notified purchasers that they rejected the orders made through drummers, or traveling salesmen. However, Cole failed to do so. Holloway sued Cole, and the trial and appeals court found the parties had formed a contract because of Cole's unreasonable delay in rejecting Holloway's order. Cole appealed to the Tennessee Supreme Court.